Today we want to share with you one of our favorite and easiest side dishes. Take some cauliflower, this is one pound of frozen cauliflower, straight in the pan. This is just the fr frozen cauliflower itself, and we're going to turn this into a beautiful kind of mashed potato side dish. So we have salt, we're just going to do a big couple, big couple pinches of salt. We're going to put garlic powder on it, just sprinkle that, decide how much you like it. And then this is my secret ingredient, and add some nutritional yeast. If you don't have it, it's awesome. You can get it, you can put it in a lot of dishes. Vegetarians know it. It's got a lot of great vitamins and minerals. So again, just sprinkle that a bit over that. And this is really fast. This cooks in like 10 minutes until you're ready to puree it. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a sprinkle of water on it. Not even that much water, you can see it there. Just to co cover the bottom of the pan. You don't need to cover it, you're not boiling it. You're putting some fire on it and cooking it for like five or 10 minutes. And while our cauliflower is cooking, we're getting everything else we need ready. This is the other secret ingredient, a good stick blender. Now, if you don't have one, you could use a regular blender. This is just easier to use and easier to clean for this type of pureeing application. So we've got one, two big chunks of butter. I can just go in here and wait for the cauliflower to finish. And cream. Again, it's gonna be about a quarter cup, one, two, and you're done. And that's just gonna make it really smooth and creamy and delicious, like the mashed potatoes you used to love. All right, we're checking in on our cauliflower. I'm gonna take the lid off. You see, you still have moisture. You can stir it a little bit. If you still have moisture, it's not done. All right, our cauliflower moisture is just almost gone. You wanna catch it before it burns. It's beautifully soft. Let's make a puree. So it's really amazing. This really works best with the frozen cauliflower. It's one of our favorite side dishes. So the hot cauliflower goes right in. Hot cauliflower, butter and cream. Give it a little bit more salt. A couple of big pinches. And puree. And there we go. It's as easy as that. Give it a taste. Mmm. Buttery, salty just right. Make sure you get your seasonings right. You really don't get a strong cauliflower vibe. It's really potato-y because you got the garlic powder in there and the nutritional yeast. It's really fabulous. It goes really well next to, for example, oven roasted short ribs with barbecue sauce. You can check that video out. So this is really good. Texture, ooh, beautiful. Flavor, mmm, sticks. You're not gonna miss mashed potatoes. This is excellent, you're gonna love it. Bon appetit, subscribe.